Hello everybody, it's me, Alec John Bell. Welcome back to Transcending Together. Today, I am here to do another Oracle review. So I wanted to give you a little bit of an update. So I decided that I am going to do Oracle and Tarot reviews every Wednesday. So every Wednesday, you will see a new Tarot and Oracle review for me as long as I have cards to do tarot and oracle reviews for, but I don't see myself running out anytime soon. So from this point on, you will see reviews uh, from me. So today we're going to be talking about a deck that I'm super excited about. I was trying to figure out what deck that I wanted to talk about because I started getting into oracle cards and tarot cards back in January of this year. So I've been doing this for a little over four months because it it is now May. And um, so I was I was like, what do I want to do? What do I want to talk about? And I ended up deciding that I wanted to talk about the newest deck that I actually got. So today we are going to be talking about the wisdom of the House of Night Oracle cards. And the reason why I wanted to talk about these is because this is a very, very special deck to me. And I will get into all of the reasons as to why this is a special deck to me. But before we get into that, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the format of how I'm going to do these Oracle and Tarot card reviews. So I came up with five questions um, of how I'm going to do these reviews from this point forward. I didn't do this for the Starseed review, but I wanted to kind of make my reviews a little bit different than the typical unboxing or reviews that you see from other YouTubers because I was like, I don't want to just do the same thing that you see from other YouTubers. So I thought to myself, how can I make my review a little bit different than, um, than some other YouTubers? So I came up with five questions. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to format this. I might format it a little bit differently every ep every video, um, but there are five questions that I'm going to ask. I think I'm still going to show you all of the cards, but um, yeah, I think that uh, I think that even though I'm going to show you all of the cards, I'm still going to answer these five questions, and. Uh, Sorry, I'm saying I'm a lot. I don't know what my problem is today. I'm sorry. I'm I'm still trying to get into the swing of these YouTube video things. I'm not used to being behind the camera. I'm used to writing books. If you don't know I'm an author, I write books. And it's really weird being like in front of a camera and recording myself. I'm really awkward. So uh, I apologize for that. So anyway, let's just jump right into this and get right into the video. So the wisdom of the house of night. I actually found out about this deck a couple of weeks ago when I had an old friend from middle school send me a message on Facebook. She sent me a message with a picture of this deck. I guess she had gone to Barnes and Noble or something and she was like, oh my gosh, guess what? I found this Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle deck. I don't know if you know about this deck, but I know that you loved the House of Night books when we were in middle school and I wanted to let you know that they had this deck. Now, I think in the back of my mind, I did know that this deck existed at some point, but I think that was back when I had middle school brain. Now, I am 23 year old getting ready to go back to college brain and I completely forgot that this deck existed and I wasn't into tarot and oracle cards back in middle school. So I didn't, I never picked this deck up. I was into the House of Night books, and for those of you that don't know, the House of Night books, long story short, are basically about, it's about this girl named Zoe who finds out that she is a vampire, and she goes to this vampire boarding school, and the vampires are kind of like witches. It's like a, like a cross between like vampires and witches. Um, it's really interesting. It went on for 12 books and four novellas, so there were like 16 books in total, and I loved this series so much. It was my favorite series. Um, to me, the House of Night books really helped me accept my, uh, my gay identity. It was the first time I had ever really seen gay characters in a book series, and after that, I started seeing gay characters in books all the time, but this was the first time that I had ever really seen that. 
Uh, one disappointment that I have with these cards is that the gay characters that I loved in the books are not represented in these cards. There are characters from the series that are represented in these cards, but the gay characters are not, which is my only complaint about these cards. So, anyway, enough rambling on. So, you open up this box and you see the, um, you see that there is a little book in here. Um, it's, you know, it's a typical, it's a typical little book. Um, it's got, it's got all of the information that you need and, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty useful. Um, the, 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 uh, the guidebook is very simple and to the point. As you can see, they're not very, like, long winded like response not responses but like they're not very long winded um things so that can be a wow i just almost dropped these cards all over the place that can be you know kind of a hit or a miss um to some people you know what i just realized i didn't put these cards in order but that's okay so i am going to show you these cards um so um, let's, let's see. How do I want to do this? Okay. Okay. So, so I really, really like these cards. Oh, Stevie Ray. I love her. And I'm dropping these cards everywhere. Um, I really, really, really love these cards um i i love they're as you can tell they're kind of glossy so i apologize for the reflection of the um of the light in the cards i can't really help that um but you know for me, this series was very helpful for me when I was in middle school. And I really, really enjoyed this series a lot. So when I found out that these cards existed or relearned that these cards existed, um, I knew that I needed them. And I feel really connected to them. So I guess I should kind of explain something a little bit here too. Um, something that's kind of important. So you're probably wondering, um, as a metaphysical Christian, as a Christian, like you're you're probably looking at these and you're like, wow, Alec, these cards look kind of witchy. Um, they do look a little witchy and they are a little witchy. This is like the witchiest deck that I have. Like I said earlier, the books are about like vampire witches. <laughs> um, and I love, you know, I love them. I have, you know, because I have such an emotional connection to the series, the book series, um, I really felt drawn to get the cards and I kind of just go with my gut. And even though I don't identify as a witch per se, um, I do identify with a lot of like pagan beliefs, but I don't identify as a pagan. I do identify as a Christian. Um, I, I, I still felt drawn to this deck and, you know, I do go with kind of my, my gut. So, um, I, I'm rambling on here, but I will get to the five questions at the end of the card flip through. I'm really sorry that the light is reflecting off of them. I hope that you can see these cards okay. And if you, and if you, um, 
if you, uh, what was I going to say? Sorry, I just got a text message on my phone and it just completely distracted me. If you find out that uh, you like these videos with me putting the questions at the beginning instead of me putting them at the end like I'm going to do in this video, then let me know. Oh, I love this card. Let me know. Let me know if you like the questions at the beginning or at the end um, or where you where you like them. Um, this, this deck is real. Uh, okay. Let me just say this card. I've pulled this card. I've only had this deck for like a week and I've pulled this card like four times. <laughs> Not even kidding you. Self-worth is apparently something that I need to be working on. I've also pulled this card too. Success. Um, uh, I've pulled this card like three times, the Grove card. Yeah. I don't know why I also have pulled this card. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you all this. Don't listen to me. Um, is this the last card? No, there's one more. The Warrior. Okay. Oh, and you know what I just realized? I didn't show you the back. That's the back. And that's another thing that I'm talking about when I say, like, it means, like, you know, like, it kind of is a little witchy. But you know what? Witchy is okay. It's okay to be a witch. You know, we are not judgmental here on this channel. It's okay to be a witch. The point of this channel is to transcend together, to grow as a community of different religions and spirituality. So it's okay to be a witch. It's okay. It's not, it's not a bad thing. So now that we have gone through the cards... Let me answer uh, the five questions. So first question, how easy is the deck to use out of five stars? So number one being the easiest, five being the hardest. I would say that this is a number one. It's a very easy deck. Um, you can tell, you can tell that it is meant for, like that it was created for like middle school, high school age student like people, but I think adults can completely enjoy this deck too. Um, how do I use it as a Christian? That's a very good question. Um, I don't think that it has, so in this deck, um, in this deck, it does reference to the goddess Nyx, which is a goddess that is in the book series. Um, and obviously, I don't think that Nyx is a real, like, goddess. However, when I use these cards, I imagine kind of that Nyx is like a representation of God of some kind. So it's not like I think that Nyx is a real person, but I kind of use Nyx as like a you know, I do think that God has feminine features. So I do think that that's kind of how I use the deck. Like I, I use Nyx as like, like I imagine Nyx as like a place, not a placeholder. That sounds really bad. Um, I, I imagine Nyx being, I don't know how to explain it. I can't explain myself. I'm sorry. Basically, I just think that God is this all-encompassing divine being, right? And and because of that, um, because of that, you know, when I think God has feminine features, and um, yeah, I'm I, I'm just rambling on at this point. I'm sorry. I wish I could. I wish I could answer that question better. Uh, what do, what purposes do I use this for? So I kind of use this for everything. I kind of just go with my gut. Um, whenever my gut is like pull out the wisdom of the house and I deck, I pull out the wisdom of the house and I deck. Um, I've used it for like dream stuff. I do use it for more like spiritual purposes though because it does seem more like a spiritual purpose deck. Um, do I feel drawn to it or do I feel like it's God inspired? I do. I feel very drawn to this deck. I feel a very strong connection to it. I feel really positive energy from it. Um, and it makes me feel really good. It does kind of scare me sometimes because sometimes I use it and I'm like, oh gosh, like this is a little weird. Like sometimes it, it's, 
it's a very accurate deck in it and it does kind of the way that I use decks is that I use them to kind of work with my subconscious and sometimes it brings things to the surface that I'm like oh my gosh like I I wasn't thinking about that but or I was thinking about that and you know it brings things to the surface you know like the self-worth card that I've pulled like four times you know definitely got to work on my self-worth um how often do I use it when I first got it, I was using it every day. Um, now, I kind of just use it whenever my gut tells me to use it, which is kind of, you know, every every couple days or so. Not too often, um, but not too infrequently either. So, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was kind of a mess. I'm still trying to figure out the format of doing these questions and, um, you know, things like that. But... If you like this video, let me know. If you like the questions at the end, let me know. If you like, if you want me to move the questions to the beginning and then do the card flip through at the end, let me know. Um, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like it, give it a thumbs down. Either way, it still helps me. Um, and if you like this video too, subscribe and see more videos coming soon. Uh, I do lots of different types of videos and um, I will see you guys again real soon. Bye.